message of the time already. Um, finding more produce more. Finding more and producing more. You need the services of subcontractors. And one of them are ship owners, particularly option. Um, when the crisis of oil drastically dropped, LNPC directed to the bills, IOCs to reduce production costs by 30%. The IOCs took advantage of that to engage service providers like the ship owners and made us, they negotiated the rates down. In fact, they were sympathetic. They said if we were to carry out an NPC instruction, we'd be total 30% reduction. But they were hovering between 20 to 18%, depends on how relevant your facility is then. That meant that uh, most of uh, the providers are carrying huge debts because the revenue is no longer able to meet their commitments, their financial demands. It was okay to save that situation to support the effort of LNPC and the LOC to, to stay afloat. But since then, prices of crude have crept up and the, the negotiated low rates are still the same. Most of our Members who are ship owners have their vessels tied up in the jetties because of the job, and those who are working are struggling to stay afloat. We try to engage the IOCs on reviewing rates primarily upwards to be commensurate with the increase that we're noticing in the industry. And they want to say that unless LNPC directs otherwise, the only instruction we have is 30%. What can you do to help us there? Uh, uh, uh,
Sampai baik kelasnya Di program sampai tanya Delta Dengan lagi Di Februari Ada yang kelasnya Batang buat Semua di EFOS Habis itu Perusahaan dia Pak 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 Jadi we are Well over 4 dollar Approaching Up to our 5 dollar And beyond So what we are busy doing Three things One is not to rent the repairs to be able to sustain production of the existing fields. Two, to bring in immediately those that have been knocked out for one reason or the other, all connected to the performance of the oil in itself. Because whatever happens to the oil, invariably affects the gas. With associated or non-associated. Non-associated has to have a point of evacuating the accountants. If that is not there, we just can't do anything but to shut down the gas plant. So that's number two. Then number three is to continue on additional production, both the upstream and the midstream, by embarking on the pipelines to collect this grid. And then also ensure that we produce more. And for that reason, we have identified seven key critical projects that will give us gas that will build up the supply of the domestic market from what it is today about 1.5 billion standard cubic feet per day to over 4 billion BCM by the year 2020. And also, some of the things that we have done also is to look at what has been preventing us from developing this gas in good time and with the budget. We realize that there will be benefits if you separate the mystery process from the upstream work. So, going forward, the NPC and JV partners will be limited to producing the gas up to the surface. And the treatment of that gas is free for any investor that will come in, including the JV partners if they are willing. In other words, we are trying to open up to make sure that participation comes in. NFPC could be part of the uh, scheme if they choose to, but in no way should they come in as a dominant equity holder. We will have a minority holder there. And what we are trying to do is to unfold the mainstream into the Boreal, excuse me, into the Boreal LNG model where you have participation of new investors. We believe that that will accelerate the production because we have a gap, deficit of gas that we must fill within the next few years. And it is only through that kind of aggressive effort that we will achieve that. And uh, the Asanos gas production will be the first test case, which we believe that by June we should achieve a five on this model that I just described. So, to answer you in short, we want to clear the gas deficit to power within the next few years and operate in a surplus mode thereafter. I'm not going to dwell into other challenges, I'm just going to talk about only gas to power because the power itself has its own challenges which may not be connected with the gas supply. We need, there's a question around exploration, well, how can we invest more money? And also, it's connected to almost the last question too, on uh, what, what are we doing to fund more? Let me just talk a little bit on it, but then I will uh, ask my CEO of State to expatiate. A lot of the programs that we've been having over the last few years is the structure that we operate with the James, where you need cash for. I also bring their own, because we have it all. And for the reasons which are obvious in the history, we have not been able to fund our government share. And cumulatively, we kept on hiding the deficits. And once we are not able to fund the cost of operation, of course, 
the cost of exploration for South Sosa. Because going forward, what you will be doing is just to struggle to be producing. In other words, maintaining asset management that will enable you to continue to produce. So exploration, of course, was the first line to suffer. And that's why we remained stagnant for a long time. We could not fund the operations locally, we fund the exploration. And only last year we found a formula to exit that. And once it has led to the famous uh, cash call exits, which uh, Bender and you can expand on. But basically what that means is that we will find a way of paying all the arrears of the tune of about six to seven billion dollars, maintain the same production and government take. That means that that, inc that arrears will only be funded by incremental production spread over five years. In other words, we will continue as we are. But how do we continue as we are? We have to make that cash call a first line. We take our first call before we even give anybody, including government. And that has started 1st January of this year. I'm still here telling you that cash call of February has already been paid. And that is the way we see going forward. And if once you sustain the cash call, which means you can now sustain the governmental programs and exploration programs that you may have along the line, it's the only way to bring back exploration appetite to the IOCs. But of course, on the other hand, NMPC itself, like I said in uh, my GMG speech, we are also looking at the other basins, not only the Niger Delta, the Chad Basin, the Ben Wincroft, Bita, a number of basins, all these are going to be looked at. And I can assure you, the one billion barrels reserve incremental per year is not something that cannot be achieved. Uh, the other ones are more personal. Uh, is how, rather than find more, is how do you read more? Uh, <laughs> that I cannot help you there. Uh, Greg, talk more about the shipments, of course. Uh, the IOCs can give you one thousand reasons why they are not being able to increase cost. But you must agree with me with what I demonstrated. There is no any player that will be talking about cost increase under this regime. The regime that we just coming out of low price of oil cannot sustain higher cost of production. So, of course, they can tell you that senior partner is not willing, but the fact is that we are not willing. And we are still not willing to increase cost. If you heard the speech of my GMD, we want to bring drive this cost down. So what we will need from uh, people like Greg, who are local participants, is how do we think out of the box, um, prepare the Nigerian equation to bring down costs, not only in oil and gas, in almost every sector of the economy. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to take that. Uh, 